Hey, what's up? It's Jim, and today I'm going to talk about stop motion. This is a stop motion animation live action hybrid horror movie that is actually about stop motion animation, which is honestly 100% why I wanted to see this. This is not a combination I ever hear of, especially a hybrid of animation and horror. That really never happens, and I thought it was kind of a really cool concept to be honest with you which is about creativity and demons and your own mortal kind of driving force and something like that and how creativity can drive you mad and the inner being able to control that creativity and the wonders you can create with it but the horrors they can do to you and your brain and how you need to get these ideas out but how it eats away at you and just taking that to like a horror interesting extreme and kind of playing with maybe like sort of gothic genre in a sense honestly feeling like very like the quay brothers but i guess the director has actually said more by jan svankenheimer i felt quay brothers he said yeah, jan svankenheimer in the few interviews i read so i i'm gonna go with he directed it uh robert morgan but i think it made sort of at the very least a very interesting different kind of movie which is what i wanted from it this is about a girl whose mother is a legendary stop-motion animator and now has arthritis. I keep seeing people some mysterious disease. I'm like, it's pretty much, sounds to me like arthritis. I, I assumed it was arthritis. Maybe maybe they, they said something, but anyway, she has arthritis. She's trying to finish her final film. Her daughter, uh, who's the main character, is moving the kind of puppets or the characters and doing basically all the animation while her mother is basically directing or dictating to her uh, what to do with them. And this is basically what they do all the time. Um, she kind of wants to make her own thing other than be under the shadow or the thumb of her mother, but obviously can't. And there's a whole thing of obviously of that she is controlling these figures with her hands and her mother is directing her to then manipulate them with her hands, which is kind of an interesting, I think, development plot-wise. Or it is like an interesting situation, like who's really the, I guess, puppeteer is the stop-motion animator as she's sort of going through her daughter to do this. But then her uh, her mother gets sick and uh, she decides to stop working on her mother's film and make her, and sort of go to a different location to sort of like, because of everything that happened with her mom, she wants a fresh start. She goes to an apartment in this weird apartment building where nobody else is, which is also sort of the premise of All of Us Strangers, but where is a part of All of Us Strangers, but whatever. So she goes there and starts her own movie, and she keeps getting visited by this weird girl who we're not really sure if she's like a ghost or something, but she's there and she keeps telling her ideas of an animated film about this girl who's hiding from this like evil beast or something and she's being haunted by them and we have these like crazy weird imagery as she's sort of being haunted by it and her view of creativity and how it's like driving her mad and how people like that idea and kind of both how you're haunted by your own ideas your first project how much that means to you how it can like kind of take over your life and how you aren't able to control your own creativity at first and how that gets mixed together with kind of a mentally unstable time in your life as the characters she's making in her stop motion start to sort of haunt her and the ideas of stop motion whether she is stop motion all those things sort of start to haunt her and haunt her ideas as she tries to finish this film this is directed by a guy, Robert Morgan, who's done other stop motion. He's done a lot of shorts. This is his feature film debut, I believe. I did one for the ABCs of Death, which is stop motion anime. He's done a lot of shorts. I think, at the very least, this is a unique film. This is kind of a smaller film, but I, I, I definitely saw it and was interested in it and made it such a meme on my live streams uh, by accident, but we went with it because I accidentally kept bringing it up. Because I thought it was such an interesting idea. The idea of stop motion and the stop motion character sort of haunting you. I was like, that's that's pretty cool, honestly. Like, especially like when you see those weird, like, 
um, I would I keep saying the Quay Brothers, and to me the whole time I was like, well, this is a British film. The Quay Brothers are British. It's like that makes sense to me. But uh, Swankenheimer, um, you know, I can't stop who people are influenced by, but I also can't stop my own interpretation of their creativity. So whichever one you think is more valid is up to you. But the Quay Brothers or you know, Swankenheimer um, have creepier figures, and I always wondered like to stay in that mode. Like when I watch Alice in particular. Um, to stay in that mode all the time and to deal with like she and she starts making these characters out of like weirder things which Swankenheimer does do so I guess now that I'm talking it out makes it makes sense who it is um but but uh when you think of when I always see those films I'm like well you have to stay with that because stop motion so labor intestine for so long like what is that like like that's your every day and how like this takes on a horror element of it 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 is sort of meta in that way almost commenting on like what you imagine those kind of things to be i would actually be interested if there are any stop motion animators what their view of it i'm sure they saw it um because there's not that many stop motion animated films so <laughs> so it's like oh this is one of the two this year i guess um that's not even a joke that that's just how it is uh, I would be curious their take on it, but um, that you're still, even when you work on an animated film, it takes a while. You're so in this world, you almost like don't even know. Sometimes I feel like when I work on an animated film, it takes a while. Or our project, I'm like, I don't even know if this is good or not at a certain point. Like, I just have to trust that I need to get this done. And I do feel like creativity in general is this interesting thing where, like, before I shoot even these, it's in my head and like I just need to it just stays there until I can get it out or if I wait too long it sometimes goes away sometimes I'm like no I want to get this like down this needs to be shot this needs to be recorded so I have it down and it like kind of bothers me it's just like sitting in there it's like taking it away or something or if I'm working on an animated film or my film art videos or something or I'm working on any of the animated stuff I worked on for that period we're sort of in production I'm like thinking about it it's like it's like in my head and, and I, I never like it like you know I'm zoned out thinking about it or something but I get the idea that it could like like bother you they could eat away at you and especially like when I was younger I mean, you know and have kids I was married I had less going on I, I would like let that like s steep in my head for an afternoon and let that be everything you know what I mean and I, I do think, like, this playing into that was really fascinating. Because I've never seen a horror movie go into that. And particularly, like, if you're not in the greatest place, like, her mother's in the hospital. She's moved out, presumably, for the first time. She's dealing with a ghost demon abandoned girl or something. Like, that that all seems like a lot. So, like, I, I can imagine that would fuck with you. And and I do quite like that. So I do think, like, and Sinram and I talked about it a little, he found it a little predictable. I, I guess I did, but I, I often find with horror, I'm, like, ready to sort of coast on the genre and see what the genre is going to do, even if I know the ending. I feel like I'm more accepting of that of horror because that is sort of how that genre is. Almost, it's like, oh, well, the we're how we use that format is more what this is about than just us using it. And because it's so different, unique, I, I did like like how it uses drugs, how it uses like going out, how it even uses like the idea of like having a creative idea, and which has happened to me. Uh, you, you you have a creative idea, and you're doing it for a while, and you see someone else use that creative idea and even if it's yeah and they have like more money and time and you're just sort of sitting there like wow what the fuck like what the, what the fuck is this this is my thing and you get pissed off i i wouldn't go to the extremes and some of the like the death stuff of this particularly during the end so i was like wow this is this is, <laughs> this is interesting i do think this is one of the more interesting like films about an animator i've ever seen um i don't think there are a lot of them or a filmmaker frankly i mean she's a filmmaker animators are filmmakers uh even though it's a specific kind of filmmaker and certainly with stop motion i don't think i've ever seen like a fictional film about a stop motion animator unless i'm forgetting something or at least one to this level um because she is a real stop motion animator. i mean like even though her mother was a legendary one she is definitely like she knows how to do everything she's 
you know, it, but it is interesting showing like, you know, you think you can do this, but I know how to harness it. It's also like you're at the end of your road. Like when you're younger, you really don't know how to harness those things. You will leave things in, you know, pick out influences and you'll not be able to disseminate and understand the information you're putting out there. So I, I actually do get that in this. I also think it's creepy, like sort of unnerving vibe to it. It's just oh, so interesting, and it definitely plays like a low-budget British film. I know it's played by the National Lottery and things like that. I actually didn't remember it was British till I saw it. <laughs> maybe I saw it in the trailer, and my wife's British and stuff, so maybe, maybe I was like, I was like, oh, they're speaking English. It's a movie. I don't. I didn't even. Think, I didn't even think about it. I don't know why. It's not even a comment. I just didn't. I I do like how unique this was. I do think it's very different. I quite enjoyed it. Maybe it's because. And I know this is a criticism of critics and cinephiles. You just sort of like different things because you see so many things, a different thing will sort of pop out. But I would say in that regard, uh, how many fucking movies are like this at all? Like none. Uh, just this one. And so, like, if I'm going to claim that for just this one, I think I have a, a pretty good precedent of no precedent for this, actually. I think it's one of the more interesting animated films of the year. I don't uh, think we'll hear much about it beyond the horror circles, unfortunately. I hope we hear more from the animated circles. I feel like I'm the only sort of animation YouTube person who's probably going to talk about it. That's not just throw shade. Everybody's got their own things they're doing. But that's one of the reasons I like to talk about different animation. Because animation as a medium and stop motion as a medium, uh, exploring in different ways is highly fascinating to me. And I think Robert Morgan made a very unique, different kind of horror film and how creativity can bother you and how stop motion takes so labor to and how much you put into it but also i think the the weird things a film unearths you know in many ways in a little ways maybe this reminded me of new nightmare maybe i'm not the biggest new nightmare fan so i maybe i sort of like this way of handling like the demons that can be an unearthed by working on a film or something i think certain times when you work on things and creativity and working on a film or a piece of art, you know, unearth something about yourself that you never knew was there. And I think this gets into all that, it gets into like the, the darker psychological elements of filmmaking that, that comes out that naturally works in a horror movie. It's actually a pretty cool idea. So um, this, this is one of my more favorite films about filmmaking I've seen in a little bit, just because it's so interesting. I get, I get kind of Sid Ram's criticism. I've heard that from a few people. But I kind of like it living in its own unique space. So maybe this isn't the greatest one. Maybe this won't be my favorite film of the year or something like that. Um, but it's a unique one that sticks out to me. And I think it's one of the better, more interesting films of the year. Because it's able to do something I don't think I've ever seen before in such a way. And maybe some of it's cliched. But I think how you use those cliches is interesting. And how it uses stop motion. What it says about filmmaking and animation and creativity and kind of the troubles and the things that it can unearth that you never really knew existed are all brought up as you're working on your film to discover maybe who you really are and how that's not who you maybe wanted to be but that still is who you are in the end so if you've seen stop motion and you would like to talk about it then comment below in the comments and subscribe if you would like to Thank you.